Welcome to use by wireless data transceiver. Wireless data transceiver test. This video will introduce how to test our wireless data transceiver. Please connect devices below. Wireless data transceiver, antenna, power source, USB to RS-232 cable, or USB to RS-485 cable. Install USB to RS-232 cable, antenna and power source as the video demonstrates. The wireless data transceiver can be powdered with external amphenol connector or power adapter. Please choose one from the two options. The power supply shall be from DC 8 to 28 volt. If you need to test with RS-485, please connect the 485A and 485B of the USB to RS-485 with the RS-485A and RS-485B accordingly. Then please plug the USB to RS-232 cable into the computer. Now you may find that the driver is not installed. If so, please download the driver from our website and find the corresponding driver file, and then install it. After that, please check the COM number of the virtual serial port. The COM numbers of different computers may be different. Then let's start the test for communication. Make sure the dip switch is in right position to enter normal mode, and that the power supply is well connected. Next step, open serial port assistant. Open to windows for serial port assistant. Set the COM number and other serial parameters. Input the data being transmitted in the TX window. Click Send. The data to be received are shown in the other window. During the communication, the signal light for TXD keeps blinking during transmitting and the signal light for RXD is blinking when receiving. Then parameter setting can be conducted. During parameter setting make sure the dip switch is on the above position to enter parameter setting mode, and the power supply is well connected. Let's open RF setting. Choose the corresponding COM number and open the port. By lowering the latency, we can speed up the communication. How to speed up the communication and lower the latency? 1. Turn off FEC. When FEC is turned off, the anti-interference ability in complex ME would be weakened. 2. Increase air rate. After increasing air rate, the communication range could be shorter to some extent, so users need to analyze concretely according to the conditions. For technical support, please send email to supportedbyte.com. WOR timing has nothing to do with data latency. If users have no requirement for low power consumption, it's no need to set up this parameter. It's transparent transmission mode when fixed mode is off. Please make sure the address is in accordance with channel and air rate and transparent transmission mode for normal communication. Address. Channel and air rate of transmitter and receiver must be the same. After modifying all the parameters, please click set param. When all the parameters are set up, make sure that the dip switch is pressed down to enter the normal mode, and ensure power supply is well connected, then it will work again. 